<sighs> that was not <laughs> faked. I'm genuinely sleeping. So good morning. I am in my bedroom. I've literally just got out of bed. As you can see, I really want to get back in. <laughs> but I'm going to do a video on cycling motivation because I think we all need it at this time of year because I don't always want to go out and yeah I reckon let's get my kit on let's get going and I'm just gonna go out for maybe an hour and um, because obviously you know my back has been sore so this is more like just getting my back back into it if that makes sense not specifically a training ride um, but it still takes some motivation to get back on the bike, so I reckon let's get the kit on and go. <sighs> right, let's go. In fact, actually, if you want to stay motivated, just film yourself and be putting it on YouTube because I feel a lot more motivated now I'm filming this. Like, can we get in actually ready? I think one of the main problems, just very briefly, is all the kit you have to wear in winter. It's not just like shorts and a jersey. You have to like actually think about all the layers that you're going to put on. So I'll give you my first tip now because I, I didn't do this last night and it would have made it a lot easier. Everyone's known, everyone knows this tip, but just put all of your like kit at the side of your bed because then it just saves loads of faffing around now like I am doing to find what kit I'm actually going to wear so that's one tip I am going to be doing a another video soon of my favorite like winter kit um, I've got some new stuff coming to try out and God, I can't even see what I'm doing because this jersey is massive I've had it for years and it's just too big now so I will be doing an update on kit soon when I go out in the dark or if it's really cold, Provis jackets are my, are just one of my favourite, favourite like winter, dark winter things to wear because this one like glows up. I will do a separate video on it but I just wanted to let you know while I was actually getting ready. So I'm back from my ride and I've showered and I'm nice and clean and so I want to talk to you a bit more specifically about motivation and the reason that I want to do this video today is because the other day on Instagram, if you already follow me you will know and if you don't follow me then if you want to my link is in the description box. Um, but yeah, I did a post about motivation and said, you know, motivation um, for me is all about adventure and I realised, yeah, that's, it is true and that's my main reason for wanting to ride but equally that's not the reason that I get out of bed in the middle of winter and ride the same roads that I've always ridden so I kind of felt like I want to expand on it and give you some tips of what I do to keep me motivated when it is cold and you're riding the same roads and it's not always pleasant so I think the main thing is don't link motivation to willpower because they're not necessarily linked for me, I think motivation is more linked to reasoning and reasons for riding. So for me, I feel like motivation without reasons, they're like wheels without a bike. Um, do you like that? I actually uh, thought of that when I was riding this morning. I was like, yeah, I'll explain it like that. Um, so yeah, I think for me, I need to have reasons why I'm riding because if you don't, why would you get up when it's cold and it's dark and it's wet like why you just wouldn't and so i'm very specific with my reasons for riding and wanting to get either fitter or be able to ride longer so i've got a list of like races and audaxes and trips that i want to do and so if ever i feel like oh i just don't want to do this particular ride, I look at that and I think, yeah, but Katie, come on, like, you've got this, this, and this. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got this, this, and this. God, that took me ages to actually cough. It was like slow motion, like, <coughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I, I will remember, oh, I've got this and this, and I want to be fit for those. 
think how much better you'll feel when you've got that extra training in and yeah that is my main tip so for you write down be really specific don't just say i want to get fitter like be really specific about why you're riding so say i want to use my car less i want to be able to you know hold this many watts for this you know for an ftp test or i'm trying to think of something else or oh i can't think i want to try and lose a little bit of weight or i want to or, like be specific though um what else I want to feel fit enough for this event which is what mine are and that really helps me and I just want to share that I'm sure some of you already do this already but for me I try and be specific and have that I've, I've got it written in like my like a diary um that I keep with me all the time so it's always like a reminder to do it and yeah I, I think that that is really really helpful because it's not always fun and it's not always the best ride of your life but those horrible training rides are what make the actual ride doable or enjoyable it's like a marathon isn't it like think when i did the marathon it was 20 what year i can't remember what year i did it it's a few years ago and we had to do all the training in winter and it was horrible and it was cold and it was just hell but by doing all that training the actual day of the marathon was amazing and like it went really well it was fairly easy um i didn't do it very fast but i had no pains i had no injury like it was just like a really amazing day so that's like what i remind myself of just keep in mind why you're doing it keep those reasons and also remind yourself and remember that it's okay to have like like periods of like low motivation everyone has them for lots of different things so yeah just remember that don't be hard on yourself and if you don't want to ride your bike you don't have to ride your bike it's meant to be fun so i think that's pretty much it for this video i hope you found that helpful let me know your tips to stay motivated in the colder colder darker months and also one last one actually i've just thought of this ride with a club like riding with a group of friends you have like you have to keep up with that if you arrange to meet someone, you've got to go and meet them. So that's another thing that really, really keeps me motivated is riding with other people. I think I just thought I'd add that little one. That's probably like one of the main ones actually. But yeah, keep a list of all the reasons why and ride with the group and take some time off if you want to. So that is it now. I'm going to go. I need to go to work. So I will see you next video, which will be Monday, five o'clock UK time. So I will see you then. Right, bye.